Hello and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. The first thing we have to do is take care of all the animals. Oh, the chicken's doing all right. Cat's doing all right. Mm, we could probably get some more. Uh... We'll probably get some more hay into the cows' um, enclosure. So we'll do that. That'd be good. Hello, Timmy. You're a nice dinner. Right. So, just to clear one thing up before I start. The process of making beer takes grain meal, which we are making with the oats. Uh, but it also takes malt, which you make with barley. So, I am going to need barley. And the best time to get barley in the ground is about now. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to get uh, Did we get a cedar? I can't remember. I honestly, honestly can't remember if we got a cedar. I know we've got some fertilizer and some seed. But I cannot remember if we got a cedar or a cultivator. Let's chat. Let's let's have a look. No, no cedar, no cultivator. So what we have got is ninety-five horsepower. So we're going to need a cedar, which is okay for ninety-five horsepower. That's too much. So. This seat now. I don't know what the difference is between all of these apart from the working speed. We probably want to go for the highest working speed one. Yeah, I would say so. But we want a slightly larger capacity. I'd say about a thousand liters should be good. And everything else can stay the same. We're going to buy that. Now we do also need a cultivator. Cultivator. Uh, yeah. So. This one's quite a good one. Quite a wide one as well. I only need 70 horsepower. I'm going to go with that. 3.5 meters. Ah, oh, you see, that one's four meters. No, we're going to go with that. It's cheaper. So, what we need to do, really, uh, is get the Zeta, which is currently there. Let's just check. It's not attached to anything. Nope, oh, it is attached to something. Right, those bales can stay on the trailer for a bit. Because the bale storage is full that we've got at the moment. But the Zeta now can head over to the store, the store, to pick up the cultivator. So let's set the destination over here. And what we need to do is get a bale spike, wherever I put it, and get some more hay for the cows. I see the bale spike, it's over there by the bales. So I'm going to grab some more hay for the cows. I'm probably going to go a bit overkill with it and grab a couple of bales. Um, and that way they can survive a bit longer. But the hay bales are over here. I just need to come over here and press that. If I take two hay bales out of here, then that would be perfect. 
Do you want bio storage at the pigsty? Alec. Alec. Where's that bio storage? Oh, but there's none, there's none in the pigsty. Oh, I don't know. It's all very confusing. Straight across the road. Yeah, I don't know where the um, I don't know where the pig sty bale storage is, unless it's over at the side here or something. Either way. Well, we've got uh, a fair amount of them. Um, of manure building up, which is awesome. Okay, so that's good there. Here's the manure pit that we can put all the manure in when we dig it out of the uh, stables. Same for this one, actually. Although we have to get it out of here with the um, wheelbarrow when we have pigs we'll get pigs another time though right Zeta's still on the way but very nearly there so we'll stick with it there we go okay so it's time to get the cultivator picked up and then we'll get and to come back to the farm. No, no. There we go. Right, now they... can come back to uh, build over here actually and what is it that I was going to do do I need to bail up some straw I might have to bail up some straw you know I do all right that will be the two fields here and the oak field. So I better get into the Massey, which is there. There we go. And we better go and get that baler and start bailing things up. should be um, much more manageable bales than the, uh, the little ones that we had first. Not too many of the little ones now. So, let's get started. Can I adjust the bale size on this? No, I can't. Oops, that's the wrong button. Okay, here we go. Plenty of power to pull this thing. The good old 390T. It's doing well. The other thing we have to do is to pop over and check on our bread at the bakery. Possibly also pick up some more of the uh, flour and take that to the bakery. But at the minute, we've got bowling to do. We have already got a large store of bales, so there is a good chance that what we want to do is to um, 
is to sell some of these or to add it to the pigsty bales. I don't know. If I can find out where that is, I should hopefully be doing that. and tidy up this corner up here with all the little bits and then we'll start going up and down. Time for a time lapse I think. doing. Right, let's put a stop to this. Cancel job, create job, field work. Start job. All right, give me back that tractor. Blooming fool. I don't even know if this thing can pull it, but we'll try. Much better. And it can pull it. Look at that. So I could be making bales while they're cultivating my fields. Superb. Right, back to the time lapse. Well, that was an absolutely mammoth bale session. Um, most of them can stay where they are. However, I do want to get the uh, the first field we did drilled today. So that means that we kind of need to... Oh. My worker has abandoned his job.
When did that happen? Right, well, as he's abandoned that, we shall disconnect the cultivator, and that can go on to the 390T. And I will use this tractor to sort things out on the farm. And after this, it would be nice to get the field over there ploughed up, er, uh, ploughed up, cultivated as well. Because I want to get barley into both of these fields. That sorghum's ready to harvest as well. Won't be doing that until the next episode. We've got a lot of stuff to do on the farm. Well, I need to get down here, go across the bottom, and then I will get the 390T going on this. While I take the Zeta and empty the flatbed trailer. And we need to put all the uh, the bales that are on the flatbed. Either need to go in the chicken hut, the cow enclosure, or the or the um, you know the, the pig enclosure. Ready for when we have pigs. It's not going to be yet, but it will be at some point. I'm still none the wiser about those that pigsty bale storage place. Work has done a good job so far. Dealt well with the sloping edge. Right, and that work is off. Now, while that work is going, let's have a look at our object storage. So, this is the one here. Attic. Pig style, bale storage. Ah, right then. So that's above the... Above the pig style. That's interesting. So what that means is I can store the bales that I've got over there above the, the pig style. Right. That is now underway, which means what I need to do, go and get the flatbed trailer, because we'll need, need that to shift all the bales. And at the moment, it's full of the uh, smaller bales, which we need to go and empty. I'm going to start off by putting them into the chicken enclosure, and I'll put a, a couple of extras in there as well, just so that it um, sorts itself out. And it survives over time. As soon as possible, we also need to get grass into a couple of the other fields so that we can make silage for the cows. So that's it, above the pigsty up there is the bale storage. So, we shall go and have a look at that in a minute. First of all, let's get this in here.
I'm fairly sure we can fit through that gap. Ah, they need some water as well. They probably also need some food. Let's have a look. Oh no, they've got some food. Oh no, they've got water. No, we're okay. So. I don't know how many of these are going to take. They also need mucking out. I'm going to chuck some of these over here so that as the um, as the straw gets used get off this trailer chicken as the straw gets used it'll also replenish itself as well I'm absolutely loving this map I don't know about you guys but uh, so hands on and yeah it's amazing Couple more, I think. Okay. It's going to be tight getting out of here, isn't it? Okay, well, that tractor through. What about trailer? Ah, come on. A tight gate. Hmm. Right. Let's come on, chickens. Let's push. There we go. Cracking. Close that up. Okay, so we've got sixteen thousand litres of straw. How many have, how much have we got in the cow enclosure? Uh nineteen thousand litres and hardly any space. So um, I think What about the sheep? Yep, sheep got loads of straw. So Best thing to do then is going to get it into the pig enclosure. Ready for when we have pigs. We haven't got any pigs yet, and we're not going to be able to get them just yet. Now, how do these gates open? Inwards. Okay, that could be good. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to chuck them in.
is good. This is going to empty everything. I hope. Well, those last three could stay in there anyway. Because now what we need to do is go and pick up the others off the field. I feel another time lapse coming on. Have a look up here then. Oh, there's even somewhere to throw the bales down. Uh, right. Bale storage, attic pigsty. So, bale storage, attic pigsty, straw, 125 centimeter bales. And I can put 192 up there. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, brilliant. But crazy. Right. Let's take all these around there. To make a start. And we'll get the 390T into this field to start cultivating this might be a bit heavy for this tractor but we'll muddle through right Three ninety two needs to go over it and start doing that field then. Okay. Go for it, Walford. Oh, can we pick up some speed now? We're not going uphill. Yes, I think we can. I might have been a little bit ambitious when I said two days per month. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, September or August is going to be the busiest month anyway because of harvest. Well, July, September, August. Harvest and seeding for wheat and barley and canola. But uh... right then, let's use this to put put the bales up in the loft.
or all over the floor, whichever is easier. Ah, there we go. Bales have started storing. I wonder how I get them out of there. Suppose I'll just go in the menu and. Hmm, I don't know. Still, this is going rather well. We'll get all these up here, and then the last thing I want to do in today's episode. Trying to hook them there, I drove into the wheelbarrow. Oh dear. Yeah, the last thing I want to do from today's episode is going to be to go to the bakery and check on the bread that we've we've been starting to make. There we go. So they are now nicely stored up in the loft. It's just a, a quick look up there. Here they are. We can get 192 bales in here. What's this do? Turn the lights on. And this? Nope, still lights. Amazing. Ah, that would be the slurry tank for the pig yard. Right then, so let's head over to the bakery on the bike and we will go and have a look at the bread situation and we may take a few to the shop, I don't know, see if we've got any to start with, ooh, ouch, Why does he lean the wrong way on a bike? How do I fix that? But he leans absolutely the wrong way. Probably not something I can fix. Right, so. Where do we think the bread will be for collection, eh? Probably in the shop where we took the flour. Wooden tug. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Thank you, sir. We have bread. 250 litres of bread here. Right. Let's take all three. And head to the best sell point. Right, get that strapped on. Now, the best sell point for bread is... Let me guess, the bakery? <laughs> bread. Here we go. So the church? Oh, it's the church. Look at that. Looks like we're heading towards the church then. Superb news. The 390T still going in the field over there. Right now, where did I leave the church? Over in the other town bit, wasn't it? Right, I'll see you over there. And here we are, coming up to the church. Off Berglund seems to be a place where you can live a very humble existence, right? Ah, 
I'm bringing my bike in. I don't care what you say. Ah, there's the priest. I wonder if he'll take my bread. Hey, Mr. Priest man. Yes, he took my bread. Wow! A thousand pound for that bread. Well, that's pretty good. Have another lot. What, you don't want it all? Oh, you do want it all. You just wanted me to hand it to you. There you go, sir. Oh, I haven't got any booze. Well, that's cracking. That was three thousand pounds. Just from that. We're going to be morbid and read some of the graves, gravestones. John Doe, married to Jane Doe. Yeah. Oh, another John Doe married to Jane Doe. John Doe, Jane Doe. John Doe, Jane. They're all John Doe, Jane Doe. Must be a popular name around here. Well. Bye, Mr. Priest Man. I'll come back when I have some beer or something for you. Out we go. Coming through. Dude! I'm not cool. Oh! Oh! Well, there's blame, there's a claim. And on that bobshell, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.